Hey, what's up YouTube? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create the day and night effect in Photoshop. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome. My name is Mado. I'm a content creator and photographer based in Montreal, Quebec. You can find some of the work I do on Instagram. My handle is at e.madu. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have noticed that I post a lot of time slice images. So I end up having these thousands of images that I've shot from daytime all the way to nighttime. And I'm like, well, what else can I do with these images? And that's where the day and night effect kicks in. It's such an easy technique as I'm about to show you. You don't need to shoot thousands of images you just need two images one that you shot during the sunset and then one that you shot during nighttime so the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you're shooting on a tripod we're going to be there from sunset all the way in nighttime and those two images that you're going to capture you want to make sure that they're perfectly aligned so a tripod will definitely help us do that so once you have your two images the next thing you want to do is just simply edit them edit each shot like you normally would edit a sunset shot and like you normally would edit a nighttime shot the next step after that is just to add them as a stack in photoshop now when you are adding them as a stack just make sure that you have the auto align ticked on next thing you want to do is add a layer mask to each of the layers when we divide the images from day to night we want to divide it perfectly in the center what helps us do that is grabbing a guideline and just drag it right in the center. You want to make sure that your snap is turned on though. Now with the layer mask selected and black is our background color, using the marquee tool, just drag from the side all the way to the center guideline that you just added and then click delete. What that's going to do is it's going to get rid of one side of your image. Now you want to repeat the exact same step, but this time you want to mask the opposite direction on the other layer. Now you're pretty much done. You're gonna notice that you have your day on one side and your nighttime on one side, but you're gonna have this hard line right in the center. It's up to you. You might enjoy this harsh transition. I personally prefer a nice smooth transition and I do that by feathering my layer mask. Add as much feather as you would like, but you gotta make sure that whatever value you add on one layer mask, you have to match it to the other layer mask. One thing you will notice when you do add a feather, you're gonna have this transparent line in the center that's totally fine what we will do to get rid of that is we're going to group those two layers together and then we're going to duplicate that group a couple of times until the center is no longer invisible so one thing that you will notice that when you are feathering you might have a little bit of a bleeding that will occur around your image a couple of things to do to get rid of that you can either crop in to get rid of the borders or if you want your image to be as large as possible, you can always use the content aware tool or the clone stamp tool to get rid of those bleeding areas. And that's it. That's literally everything that's involved in creating that day and night effect. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more videos like this. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. And until then, look after one another and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.